I'm Dr. John Özütemiz from University of Minnesota Department of Radiology. Today I'm going to talk about our latest published clinical perspective study in the December 2023 edition of AJR. This manuscript was written by various MRI scientists from Center for Magnetic Resonance Research at University of Minnesota, also written by radiology technologist and neuroradiologist. I would like to dedicate this paper to our friend Pierre Francois Van de Mortelle, who passed away last year before publication of this paper. Pierre contributed significantly to clinical translation of 7 Tesla MRI scanner in our center. 7 Tesla MRI machines there are two FDA approved machines in the world and these are only used for clinical imaging of the brain and knee. This is the machine we have in our center and we received this machine in the fall of 2020. These are the images from the first case we had clinically. The neurosurgeons referred this patient for imaging of the trigeminal neuralgia and seeing uh, these images, both clinicians and us were highly disappointed. After seeing after this experience, we decided to review the literature, uh, identify the clinical indications for seven Tesla, and started optimization of uh, sequences in healthy volunteers and select patients. So why we wrote this paper? When we started our seven Tesla MRI program, we didn't know uh, the indications and applications, even though we have very uh, famous scientists in the field of 7 Tesla, when you start to uh, clinically translate the scientific information to clinical experience, you start to notice uh, various problems and issues. So here we want to share our clinical experience with uh, other institutions. We also noticed that there weren't many good papers to guide uh, people when using uh, 7 Tesla MRI. Therefore, we decided to uh, uh, share our experience with uh, other technologists, radiologists, and clinicians. Here we will show some examples, various indications where you can use 7 Tesla, the advantages of the machine, and problems, disadvantages seen with ultra high field MRI, and potential uh, solutions. One thing I would like to mention in this video, unfortunately we couldn't mention this part due to word limitations in the actual article, but many of our patients are concerned about billing. They think 7 test MRI is more expensive, so their insurance will not cover their MRI scan. However, that's not true. Uh, 7 test uh, MRI reimbursement is actually the same as a 1.5 and 3 test MRI in United States. Even though the machine is almost double of a 3 Tesla machine when it comes to buying a 7 Tesla MRI, uh, uh, reimbursement is the same. Typical research costs are not significantly different either. Therefore, there is no return on inv investment, especially considering you can only do knee and brain imaging. Therefore, our institution needs to subsidize the scanner cost from other institutional income. In this paper, you can access various sequence parameters for various indications. So this would be a nice guide for uh, various institutions, at least to understand our perspective. Here are some examples. This, these images from our routine brain MRI uh, without contrast protocol that, for example, you can apply for routine headache patient. Here, uh, in this uh, 3D T1 MPRH, you can see very high detail imaging of the brain, anatomic imaging of the brain, but on 7 Tesla, arterial signal is highly robust. That allows you to obtain a dedicated MR angiography images without running a time of flight MR angiography. And you can obtain actually a CT angiography like appearance from a routine brain MRI sequence, which takes about uh, five, six minutes. We have very nice high detail T2 weighted images, very thin high detail DWI images, and at 7 Tesla, all our uh, artifacts are more pronounced. Susceptible to artifacts, particularly, this allows you to obtain very high detail susceptible weighted imaging, allowing you to catch very tiny microhemorrhages 
such as in this case you can see some of these micro hemorrhages or cavernomas were not visible on three tessa there when while well, you can um, acknowledge these in seven tessa. Here on the left you see three tests MRI and on the right same slice in the same patient you see seven tests. Our favorite sequence flare is not um, actually that good at seven tests and it's not our favorite sequence at seven tests. On the left at three tests you can see gray white matter differentiation in a great fashion while on the right at seven tests gray white matter differentiation is um, high, highly diminished and you can see uh, motion artifacts are more pronounced at 7 tessa. Here you can see increased uh, uh, motion artifact from CSF pulsation. Here is an example where you can use 7 tessa. The patient presented with intracranial hemorrhage. The GRE sequence in the emergency room was just showing the uh, parenchymal hemorrhage that we saw in the right frontal lobe. Catheter angiography was uh, negative to identify the underlying source for this interparenchymal hemorrhage. Patient underwent seven tests the MRI one week later and then we are able to see these cortical subcortical subtle micro hemorrhages and occipital cortical intergyral hemorrhage which clinched the diagnosis of underlying cerebral amenoid angiopathy which can be a good indication to use cerebral seven tests the MRI. We also use 7 test MRI for Parkinson's disease and actually using very thin susceptible weighted imaging with appropriate angle, you can reliably comment in the presence or absence of swallow of tail sign. Here is the famous swallow of tail sign, which I'm very reluctant to call at 1.5 or 3 tessa, but at 7 tessa, we are reliably commenting on the presence of this sign. Here is a case with progressive supranuclear palsy confirmed with that scan we see loss of swallow tail sign in this case one significant advantage of seven tesla is actually the allowance of half dose standard contrast agent we use half dose contrast agent in all our um, contrast enhanced imaging at seven tesla in in this paper to my knowledge for the first time, we described the DAC perfusion technique, uh, and this technique actually allows you a very high detail and accurate coronal reconstructions of those fused RCBV maps uh, with the MRI images. The problem with DAC perfusion is increased susceptibility in the skull base. We talk about um, MR spectroscopy applications at 7 Tesla, and 7 Tesla may uh, detect subtle metabolites that you cannot identify with lower field strength. One of the most studied and documented uh, applications of 7 tessa is uh, epilepsy and seizure imaging. Um, here in the top row you can see oblique coronal thin T2 weighted images and in the lower row you see oblique coronal T2 flare images. Um, in these images, you can see a very high detail imaging of the hippocampi. And in fact, um, we notice these hippocampal digitations in great fashion that I wasn't really paying attention to uh, before imaging patients with 3 tessa and 1.5 tessa. However, uh, this can be a great way to identify mesial temporal sclerosis. Here is a patient with EEG confirmed left temporal uh, epilepsy. On the right side, you can see normal hippocampus with hippocampal digitations. Uh, and on the left side, you can see a smaller hippocampus with lost hippocampal digitation. And this is a very a nice uh, MRI feature that you can only appreciate at 7 tessa to identify the subtle uh, temporal uh, mesial sclerosis and uh, in fact in this patient three tessa was negative so seven tessa can identify these very difficult occult and early uh, mesial temporal sclerosis cases sclerosis despite these advantages 
uh, skull based imaging is limited in seven Tesla in this patient with left uh, skull base and cephalocele uh, at three Tesla uh, and uh, you can see this lesion is completely obscured at imaging with seven Tesla this phenomenon occurs because of B1 field in homogeneities and in a phantom you can see this halo shaped or a horseshoe shaped artifact in the skull base which limits the imaging of this area. In order to avoid this, we use in-house built dielectric pads and we described in detail how uh, you can build these um, pads and use them. Here are the pads and we place them in the suboccipital region, in the cheek region and the preauricular region to avoid these artifacts. Vascular imaging is also another area that seven Tesla can be very helpful it has been shown that in cases where um, uh, enlarge, you, you cannot decide whether there is an enlarged infundibulum or a true sacular aneurysm, you can use time of flight MR angiography and MPRH MRA in combination to, to rule out an underlying sacular aneurysm. Seven Tesla time of flight MR angiography helps us to see tiny perforating arteries which we were not able to see before in great detail. Here in this healthy volunteer, you can see these tiny lenticular straight arteries in great detail to their far for the deepest portion in the basal ganglia, and you can see the artery of Percheron, which are, we are not really familiar to see in um, uh, lower field strength. The problem with time of flight MR angiography, skull base imaging of the carotid arteries is limited. In order to uh, resolve this issue, we use 3D T1 MP range along with time of flight MR angiography to see those structures better. We use vessel wall MRI and face contrast MRI as well to see the vessels better. You can use Seven Tesla to identify subtle pituitary lesions despite the problems in the skull base and pituitary imaging can be a great indication uh, using Seven Tesla. We talk about B1 field in homogeneities, the mechanism, underlying mechanism and the potential uh, solutions for this problem in this article. We talk about various implants that you can uh, image under seven Tesla and we uh, raise concerns about multiple uh, issues that are not well tested yet. Here is an example with uh, titanium craniotomy uh, plates. You can see we image this patient without any problem and not many artifacts. We talk about some common side effects seen in seven Tesla. In our experience, we didn't see a major issue, but dizziness, vertigo, nausea, headache, metallic taste, and peripheral nerve stimulation may occur with seven Tesla imaging. Tune in to December 2023 edition of AJR for more information from our paper. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you want to contact with me, here is my email. Thank you very much.